On this week's shooting tip, we're going to discuss some factors with incline shooting compensation. When you're in the hunting field, rarely do you come across a situation where you need to compensate for incline, especially on the longer shots. But sometimes you do, and when you do, it's very important that you know how to compensate for your incline. Uh, the first part of compensating, of course, is measuring your incline angle. Now that's pretty simple. We've got a lot of devices out there that'll help you do that. Uh, the new G7 rangefinder, that thing will measure your incline. You just hold it up, push the button, it'll tell you how steep your shot is. We've also got an ACI indicator. Those are fairly common. You mount them on the side of your scope or on your scope base. Those indicate the angle that your gun is pointing to target. What I'm going to talk about today is a really simple technique that we call fisting your incline. And it's something that you can use in the field without any special equipment or let's say your equipment fails. It's pretty simple. What we're going to do is take our fist, hold it vertically, we're going to extend our arm. Now the amount of uh, subtension or the amount that your fist covers is approximately 10 degrees when you extend your arm. So we're going to hold your fist out horizontal. Essentially your index finger is pointing at zero or horizontal. You rotate your fist once, that's 10 degrees to the top of your fist now. Now we're at 20, now we're at 30, now we're at 40 degrees. This is a fairly accurate way to measure your incline. I'm out here practicing today and I have a bunch of rocks down here. Uh, we like to shoot at rocks, they're nice targets, you don't have to pack them down the hill. Uh, I'm going to test my measurement technique on a couple of these targets and see how accurate it is. Then I'm going to back it up with this rangefinder and measure exactly what that distance or that angle is. There's horizontal. I've got 10 degrees right there. Now the rock that I've got picked out is about half a fist. So that would be 10 plus 5. So I'm measuring 15 degrees. Okay, using the G7 rangefinder, I have 13 and a half degrees. Now the difference between using my fist and the rangefinder is only a degree and a half. That's a small enough error that it will not affect my compensation for that shot. This is a simple technique that you can use. Just take a little time to practice it. It'll help you out one of these days in the field when you find that incline shot you have to compensate for. I'm Aaron Davidson and that is how to fist your incline.